Welcome to our podcast. I'm Zoe. I'm Harry. I'm Charlie. And I'm Matthew. We are the Year 6 Communication Leaders. In this podcast, I talk about New Year's. I'll be interviewing Miss Rowe. I'll be talking about coastal beach swimming. And I'll be talking about leadership. We would like to congratulate all Year 6 leaders on achieving their leadership role. Although all Year 6s are leaders, as leadership is not a title or position, but an action and example. So what matters is what every Year 6 does in work and around school. There are six different ministries. These are art, communication, environment, health, music, sport and technology. Each ministry has leaders and its own designated teacher too who all ensure the functions of the ministries run smoothly. Happy New Year's everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful start to your year. As we know, everyone celebrates the new year differently. Some stay up to midnight to see the old year goodbye and see the new one begin. Some celebrate the Chinese New Year, also called Lunar New Year, which is an annual 15-day festival in China and Chinese communities around the world. This begins with the new moon that occurs sometime between January 21st and February 20th, according to our Western calendar. Some people make a list of New Year's resolutions, and in Spain, people eat 12 grapes. Each grape is a month of good luck for the coming year. You eat one grape each on stroke of midnight. This week we learned about a lot of new cultures including shadow puppet performance from Indonesia, belly dancing from the Middle East and a Chinese lion dance from China. On the first day of school, the year fives and sixes went beach swimming. We will be asking what they liked and disliked. So what did you guys like about beach swimming? What I really liked about it was swimming with the fish and how it was really like nice and majestic. Yeah, what I liked was like the teachers were very helpful and trying to get us learning new skills. And what did you dislike about beach swimming? What I really disliked was when the water was incredibly salty and it kept going in my mouth and I kept choking. (laughs) Probably the same thing for me. If you had another chance to do it, would you do it again? Maybe because it was very fun, but it could have taken a bit of time out of school. Hi, Miss Wright. Welcome to the Apricot Primary School podcast. Today, we, I would like to interview to find more about you as you're a new teacher, and you're obviously teaching year six and year 20. So, my first question for you is, what other schools have you been to prior to Applecross? I've taught at three other schools prior to Applecross. So I taught in a school down in Bunbury. I've also taught at a school in Southern River called Bletchley Park Primary School. And I worked out in the Wheat Belt at Cunderdon District High School. Cool. So how is Applecross different to the other schools you've taught at? I really loved coming to Applecross. It's different from the last school I worked at. It's a lot smaller. They had over a thousand students at my last school. So it's nice to be in a school where everybody knows each other and you get to see lots of friendly faces. Yeah. So what is your favorite year to teach? I really like teaching upper school. So years four, five and six, uh, which is why I'm very happy to be teaching year six this year. So some questions about you and your childhood. What was your favorite childhood subject? I really liked maths because there was lots of hands-on activities and you could do lots of investigations. Cool. So what school did you go to as a kid? Primary school. I went to Coinda Primary School down in Bunbury and I attended Bunbury Senior High School for my high schooling years. Okay, so what was your favourite sport growing up? I actually did dance as a child, so I liked to do tap dance and I did a bit of jazz as well. Alright, thank you. No worries, thank you for interviewing me. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Thank <laughs> you.